My name is Xavier, and welcome to Raiding Times at long, long, long last. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it very soon. I was checking this out just before starting to record, and we can't get down here. Animals cannot graze, but after that, animals can graze. So basically, we, we wait like one or two days, and the snow will have cleared, and we can t uh, hit up that road and graze along the way with all of our alpacas, alpacas ready to eat without eating our food that we have to carry. Which is actually perfect because this gives me an opportunity for a lot of the colonists, as you can see here, to deliver all of these bricks, these slate bricks, because we actually ran out of slate. It all got converted into walkways. Oh, look at that. It looks like the snow is melting on top. Uh, speaking of, we have an issue here of snow melting on top, and I bet the issue is that roof zone I had for many whiles ago. Yep, that is indeed the issue. Let's clear the no- you know what? Let's clear the no roof zone- oh wow, that- over there. Okay. Oh, perfect. There we go. I just cleared that off and we're completely good. Uh, because now the roof zone seems to be already put in because this is a structure We could finish that up and this will actually be covered the way it should be fantastic uh, now one other thing I need to do I need a little bit of steel. I've completely run out of steel. We can't make our braziers and such So the one person I'm gonna set on that is Drigri. Let's set his steel mining or mining rather of just random stuff up to three That'll get him ahead of cleaning ahead of most haulings except for like emergency haulings behind some construction and handling, but those things are pretty rare as it is. Speaking of handling, how's our animals doing? They're all trained up here. We can take this one off. They're looking pretty good. I was thinking of making... Oh, unfortunately, we have all male calves, and all of our alpacas are actually males too, all our new ones. I was thinking of making a work manager mod, or a uh, bill, to murder all of the animals that are basically males. And that way we can only, like, gather the females. That kind of sucks with all the, the calves being males, because I want all females for milk. Someday we can have tons of milk and actually get tons of cheese after that. That would be really cool. Uh, for now, though, basically we're just going to sit here for, like, one or two days. Let it warm up, like, one or two degrees. And then the show is on the road. I'll take this opportunity to make a few meals. Oh, wait, you know what I should actually do? Let's go through everybody and make sure they all have weapons. Where the heck is Server Cat? She's inside here. Does she actually have two of these things? She does. Let's drop one of them, because that's a little bit... Actually, no, hold on. Right-click. There we go. She dropped that. Drigri, you do have a sidearm. That's fine. Biggles, you do not. Well, we can give you that one, then. We'll equip that as your sidearm. Fantastic. Ellis, you also don't have a sidearm. Let's go give you one. What kind of sidearm would you like? How about this normal claim order as a sidearm? Fine. Peter Ratchet. You are a brawler, you can only really use that, so you can keep it. Elias, you have a sidearm, great. Bleepa, you're gonna stay here, I think. You're kind of vital. You and Dot can stay here uh, and helm, helm up the uh, cleaning resistance for everybody so we can come back to a nice clean town. Wilhelm, you're good. Tremaine, you're fine. Wuten, you're kind of fine, yeah. Constantine, you're fine. Dot, you're fine. Every everyone else is fine, it looks like. Alma. No, she's a brawler, can't do anything. Oh, here we go. Oznog actually does not have a, a melee weapon. Let's give her one. How about this normal sticky stick or maybe something from over here? Yeah, we got all kinds of cool, like, oh, here we go. Superior Shaviona, apparently, as a sidearm for Oznog, and we're done. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Let's just give these guys a little bit more time to go about their day. Let's check out Drigri, though. Where is he actually going? He should be mining every once in a while. It looks like right- he's building a snowman right in front of the door. You, what are you doing, you doofus? Speaking of doofus, let's finish up these floors just so I can get rid of all these planning- these planning tiles. I forget what I was doing here. I was doing floors and it was rough paving slate. Yeah, that's right, so we'll do that. And I think there was a few more down here. Like, this whole block here should basically be all slate. Fantastic. And that'll take care of all of the planning squares except for the ones outside. I'm not gonna worry about those so much right now. Uh, I did decide at some point that this final construction crafting room in the bazaar is going to be like an ice block slash uh, stone block chipping place. And that way I can move the stone cutting station out over near the stone blocks. Or chunks, rather. And then I can have a second art studio in here because I really need a lot more art. Like I need like sculptures and pots and all kinds of cool things all over the place. And rugs, and I don't have any of that stuff. We're gonna need like two artists working full time, I feel. Rare thrombo, don't care about that, get out of here. Uh, so, you know what, why don't I finish this up while I'm thinking about it. We'll just have it done for the future. Bam, it's all in. Grab you, fantastic. Oh, hit the wrong button. Uh, we'll put you right there, right here, grab one of you. Great, build copy, they are awesome. Pretty much done. 
I won't use that. I just wanted to get rid of all those stupid planning squares because they were kind of annoying me. What is, Wu Ten? What are you doing? Oh, you're ripping up the old blocks. Those were there from like a ancient structure or something. And then hum, somehow I don't understand how Wu Ten can rip floors up off the ground with no eyes and carry wood and put the wood where it needs to go. It's like ridiculous. Oh, and there we go. It's all put in. That was that took almost no time. And she comes over here and remerges all the stacks. It's incredible. Wu Ten is the best. Osnog, are you being treated for anxiety? No, asthma. Lots of asthma in this Viking colony, which I guess is true to real life. I was reading about longhouses. I guess they didn't have any ventilation or anything. So like they just had tons of smoke all the time and all kinds of people got like cancer, smoke cancer or something. Maybe. I don't know. Something like that. Oh, look at all my little guys. Earth is actually almost completely grown up now. Still a bit juvenile, though. So is Deadly. Look at Deadly. Deadly's awesome, but he's never going to get the chance to really be Deadly. Because, honestly, we need him to haul stuff around for us. All right. Here's a question. What's everybody up to? Drigri's mining the steel, which is actually very important. We need that a lot. Servicat's finishing up, like, the last bit of research we're ever going to do in this colony. Nice. Good work, Drigri. Uh, Biggles is out here making some psychoid. You know what? I just noticed we had like 500 psychoid leaves going into the winter. As we come out of the winter, we have just about zero. We have two more cooks here and then we're done with it completely. Uh, Ellist is busy cutting stone blocks from chunks, which is actually very important. Theater Ratchet's cleaning. Elias is out here hauling corn to the stockpiles so Dot can do cooking. Felipe, meanwhile, is hauling steel that Drigri's chopping off to the places that need to have their uh, the braziers made. Wilhelm's just attending a meeting in the mayor's office. Jermaine's taking a nap because he's pretty tired from being like the only person who does everything in the entire colony. Wu Ten, double blind eye, is going to consume a simple meal after hauling things all over the place. Constantine, meanwhile, hauling a slate chunk from outside here uh, into our slate stockpile, which is interesting. Dot, like I had previously mentioned, is cooking. Ulm is out here cleaning the streets, the blood off the streets, apparently. Where the heck is that? Not exactly sure. Uh, meanwhile, Anise is out here, uh, hauling hay to stockpile. Not sure what stockpile that's going to exactly, but wow! The whole colony, everyone is busy doing something in all these different places, and we just got the flu on several, several characters. Peter Atchett, Ellis has got the flu as well, and so does Wilhelm. Just when I decide to go do a raid, everyone gets the flu. Isn't that fantastic? Absolutely fantastic. You guys gonna get tended to really fast, I hope. Yep, Nisa's working on it. Felipe's in there as well. Did he get the flu? I don't think he did. No, he's got anxiety that's being tended to. Uh, how are you guys doing on your flu, though? Whole body, 35% immunity, 36. You're already ahead of it. 35, 40. These were three people I was going to bring on the raid, though. Immunity, 40. Flu, 35. Wow, your immunity is way higher. Interesting. You have a small tolerance for alcohol, Wilhelm, for whatever reason. Are you a chemical interest? Yes, you are. So you've just been drinking that stuff like nobody cares. Nice. Drigri's putting all these things together with the steel. Felipe's cleaning up. Wow. The, the, the construction. Oh, look. Osnog put that thing together as well. I can't believe how many things are going on. Look, we got the fire just got put in by various people. Dot put it down here. There's our new infirmary. Doesn't it look nice and clean and very infirmary-like? It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I love this. It's like everyone everywhere is doing so many things. I could click on anyone and they're doing something interesting someplace. Elias is out here still making the Shrine of the Creator. He's been working on that for like five episodes, maybe six or seven or ten. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, we got these things came in. Oh, hey, all the snow is melting away now as well. Looks like Fli Wow, Felipe, very briefly there, was actually clearing away snow before he found some dirt to clean. Where is he finding all this dirt? Cleaning dirt, cleaning dirt, cleaning dirt. Yeah, if he waits like five seconds, there'll be no more snow to clean because it's all going to be gone. Just from melting away, cleaning dirt. Yep, he is just never ending finding dirt to clean various places. Now he's actually hauling slate blocks to a blueprint, which is interesting. So he must be chopping more slate blocks. I like these little roads. They look pretty cool. They're going to look even cooler when I get my medieval uh, torches or whatever in the streets lighting up the outdoors. That's going to be really awesome. But that's probably for a future episode. For now, we basically just need to get out of here. We get tons of meals, tons of stews. We get all the guys. We just have the flu. And that's kind of a concern. I mean, 
I'll give it a few more hours. Then we'll then we'll check to see if it's uh, going to be good to go. Actually, no. Let's just check to see right now. If I were to this this tile right here, if I hit no, it's not planet. It's terrain. Yes, animals can graze now. Yes, 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 yes. All the way. We're good. We are good. We can get out there and back before the growing season even begins. Tomorrow morning, guys. Tomorrow morning we leave. Flu or no flu, don't care. We're leaving. The Vikings are going on a raid. This is going to be awesome. God, Constantine's putting these streets together. And we actually have more slate. Yeah, all the slate's getting hauled in from out here. There's a lot more blocks to haul in, but you know what? We'll be fine. Ellis, how you doing? You got the flu still? Peter Ash has got the flu. Something tending to you? Um, Elias is tending to you. Server Cat's tending to you. It's all getting taken care of. Don't worry about it, Peter Asher. We've got you covered. You got the flu. We'll take care of you. <laughs> it's pretty stupid, to be honest. All right, I'm gonna say 6 a.m. We're out of here. At least these guys are hanging out and talking in the middle of the uh, the flu season. How's the temperature outside? 30. Inside here, we're looking at 68. Inside here, 68. Inside here, 68. Over there, 67, 68. Up here, 68. Up here, 68. Down here, 68. And down here, 41. Because I don't have the um, the things. I didn't build the embrasures here to get the, the cold coming through because for the longest time this was just a pile of, a massive pile of, uh, what are they called? Uh, leathers or whatever. Speaking of pile of leathers, hold on, rough paving slate. We actually need to do this whole thing here in the bazaar. So to carry the texture over and under and all that nonsense. And I might think about doing all these corners as well. I probably will, but I don't know. I'll, I'll worry about it a little bit later. Little bit later. All right, five in the morning, six in the morning. We're good. You guys ready? Are you ready for the raid? Hold on. What is this? Are you guys going to? You are sowing the hay grass. Wow. Apparently, the third of April, May, it's time to start harvesting. Well, one of the things I need to do for sure. Uh, we actually look at this, guys. We actually ran out of corn, by the way. I think we. No, we didn't. We have two hundred remaining. We actually started the season with 6,000, and I didn't lose any. If, if pirates come and light my corn on fire, we're screwed. I actually need to grow, I think, more corn or more rice or something. So what we're going to do here very quickly is let's grab this thing. Uh, zone areas, zone oil. We're going to do regular soil up there. Something like that. Fantastic. Let's grab this, and let's make sure potatoes now. Let's do rice. Just a little bit more that we can fit in there. The hay, we actually have 2,200 extra, so we have plenty of that. And I did remove one, two, three hay zones, but I did expand this one a little bit over here and here, so that'll probably be sufficient. I am feeling, though, that we need more rice for sure. Let's do another regular grow zone of soil, and let's grab... Oh, wow, actually, we can't even do that, because a lot of that's uh, gravel, apparently. I don't think this area right here is going to become a house anytime soon, at least not this summer. So let's go for regular soil right here. Great, we'll do that whole thing and we're going to make it for rice. A fantastic. And just in case something weird happens, let's delete that one little tile there. All right, now we've got to get the show on the road. Should I wait just until the things are sown, though? I know I always find something to wait and then something happens and there's some reason not to go. And then I'll just wait till the next episode. Maybe I should just wait one more day for the flu to pass. Dot, 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 dot. I do feel like this is a really good opportunity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people in the town are currently sowing the fields. And it actually would be a big help if we sowed the fields, then we left. I was thinking originally that I was going to leave and come back before the, the, the fields need to be sown on the 6th of April, May, which is the growing season start. But apparently we're planting early this year. Yeah, we'll probably have a cold snap like two days in, like we have the last four years in a row. Oh, hops. I need a lot more hops, actually, now that I think about it. Psychoid plant. Um, where can I actually make more hops? Frankly, nowhere. But what I have, have had up here has not... Well, we actually have a, a stockpile of alcohol, and we have a whole bunch more fermenting up here. Be honest, all this stuff just got hauled in. It looks like seven days on all of it, and that that was probably our final wart harvest. So we're probably okay on the hops for what it is. Let's just let these guys finish up, and we'll take out of here as soon as the flu is gone, which will be very soon. 51, 62. It'll be like a day or something like that. Then we'll really, for serious, get on the road. Get on that road.
Oh, hey, speaking of road, did we ever get this thing built up here? No, we have seven steel in it total. We already mined all this steel. Where did Drigri go? Oh, he's planting, probably, right? Actually, he's just hanging out with someone. <laughs> okay, well, I guess. Drigri's hanging out with Nisa, huh? Trying to worm your way into the, the society, Drigri? Make a friend for the first time ever? Oh, actually... Brother... Drigri's super friends with Osnog, probably because they were in uh, that room forever. Okay. Drigri has one friend. That's not necessarily a bad thing. That's all you need. Just one. Just enough to not go insane. I would like to point out this is the 3rd of April, May. I think today people started sowing the fields, and look how many of these fields we have already sown. Basically everything within the walls, including even this thing I just made. Still a little bit more to do over there, but not much. Tomorrow we'll probably do all this and that. Get to the corn down south after that. Wow. That is super awesome to see this work so effic efficiently and effectively. Felipe, what are you doing? Getting milk out of... Oh, we're even sowing this corn down here as well. Fantastic. All right. How long till this flu is gone? We're at 68... Immunity out of 50. I just want to get to the point where even if I don't tend them, they'll, like, heal on the way there. And then we'll hit the road. We'll hit the road. And we'll do some raiding. And I'll bring everyone I was planning to bring from the beginning. God, we've got the flu a lot. And we've got malaria a lot. And we've got those mechanites just that one time. But still, there's been a lot of, like, colony-wide diseases. Servercat actually stopped... Sowing fields to come back here and tend to Ellis, which was very nice of her. And now they're going down here to, to sow these fields. Okay. I can wait one more day. Although, you know what's going to be a problem is actually food, because we're down to, like, no corn remaining. So this is all the food we really have. We're probably going to have to start hunting animals. And then it's going to take all kinds of time. So really, we need to go... We need to go today and take all the food with us and leave everyone back here to, to deal with the food shortage themselves somehow. They can they can find a way to deal with it. Constantine's out chopping trees. Right, we're going to do... That's what I was worried about. All these trees probably grew, and now we're going to chop them down and replant them and all that. All that good stuff. Oh, yeah, Slaver is here from the government of Elburo. All right. We'll have Nisa go talk to them really quick. Okay, this, this super spiky lag is very, 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 very frustrating. No idea what mod is causing that, but I wish I knew. By the time anyone even gets the chance to tell me, hey, we need that. We need that meat right there. Let's bring that in. We're actually low enough on food that we don't have enough to survive uh, for even a couple more days. Let's come down and trade with Lyra, with Nisa, even though she has to walk like a million miles. I think it'll be fine. Down we go. I trade it up. What do you guys got for us? Well, we can sell you Nightingale and Tony, both of which are like 99% difficulty people. You have for us pretty much nothing but herbal meds, components, and some very expensive pemmican. God, you guys are the worst. The absolute worst. You know what we could do, though, is sell like all of this stuff. Random bows we don't want. Pila's, Pila's, Pila's bow, Pila. Armor vest at 48% gone. Wooden helmet at 53 gone. Wooden boots at 54 gone. Plates at 51 gone. Another plate at 51 gone. I guess we must have upgraded all our plates at some point because a lot of them are like deteriorating and being being sold. We'll take $200 from these guys, sell all that garbage, and voila. Now, we are indeed going to need food. So I think the plan is we murder all the bucks, we murder all the does, and then we get out of here. Oh, hey, there's a whole bunch more down here. Ibex. Ibex, 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 Ibex. That'll carry us over, I think, until the first rice harvest. How long until we're ready to go here? Flu 55, 79. We're pretty much ready to go on that front right now. The only question is, how are the fields doing for sowing? It doesn't really matter, because we're doing, like, a massive hunt-a-thon anyway. We got four people hunting, because it's set to super high priority. Meals are down to just 20, unfortunately. I think if I give these guys a little bit of time to do all this hunting, they'll probably get this done in like a day. Yeah, look, we hunted a whole bunch of those bucks already. Buck, 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 doe.
Okay, let's do one thing though. It does seem like hunting is a slightly higher priority. Yes, it is. I should probably put hunting at a four. But if I do that, I think we'll be perfectly fine, actually. So let's do hunting four, 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 four. Reason being that I just want to sow the fields first. Elias is cooking up a million jerked meats. Fantastic. Flu is up to 84%. All right, tomorrow morning, we're out of here. Ellis is disturbed sleep, cleaning her surroundings with little regard for her own well-being. How did her sleep get disturbed? Oh, oh, because she's probably down here with the flu getting tended to over and over and over again, right? Yes. Caravan request. These guys want 1,858 hops for a thrombo horn. That's insane. Who thought of that freaking deal? Worst deal ever. Absolutely ever. Wow. This is really cool. Uh, it does look like all of these got sewn, but not nothing outside. This happened last year, too. Like, the outside stuff didn't get sewn for, like, eight days after the, the sewing season. Well, <laughs> server cat went out here and planted one corn, so there's that. All right, hell or high water, we're out of here in the morning. Mm. High water indeed, it's a raid! <laughs> Group of Arabs have arrived, they're attacking immediately. All right guys, all colony on alert, get on down. Oh, that's not at all what I want. Let's get on down there. Aminals, let's get you guys into the quanti zone, fantastic. I don't know who's going to man this thing. Probably Alma. We'll get her on not alert down here. Man the ballista. How many Arabs are we dealing with, guys? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This shouldn't be too bad. I don't think maybe don't really know what I'm talking about. Let's get all our shooters into a place where they can actually shoot. That's kind of an important thing, though. You guys come down there. Any shooters over here? Yep, Osnog, you could come down there. Oh, they're just beating down those walls, interestingly enough. Not a bad strategy, to be entirely honest. Hopefully, hopefully we can take these guys out. Why do I feel like Nisa's not here? Where the heck is she? Oh, she's way down there, that's why. I was right the whole time. She, she wasn't even engaging with these guys. Well, we're murdering Ar Arabs left and right. And, and I think we're going to be fine. Oh, Felipe got a big hit there on his neck. Okay, he'll be fine, though. I think even he could even withstand another thing without being completely decapitated. Wonderful. We took care of these guys. No problem. Come on, guys. Finish him up. Great. Let's get off of alert. Let's tend to Felipe. Let's clean up a little bit, and let's get out of here. Anyone else I want to capture? Probably not, because these Arabs are going to be very hard to recruit. Whoa. Cannibal. A photosensitive cannibal who loves to shoot and melee and talk but also is a cook. Well, not so much. Wallaby, you are a jogger who is also a miner and a shooter, but you're incapable of... This, you're way too good. You're way too good, friend. Just please... Oh, your right eye was cut out. Doesn't matter for, for jogging, though. Somebody, come down here. Who's uh, Elias? Come down here. Capture the Wallaby. No, get off. What do you know? Just Elias, come up here. Capture Wallaby the Miner. Great. Uh, Ulma, let's get you off of manning that crossbow. Fantastic. Rare, what's up with you? Uh, you are fine. Death in 10 hours. Pyromaniac, industrious. Too smart. You could be a great crafter, that's for sure. But honestly, that's the only thing you'd really be doing. We don't have too much crafting, so I'm not going to worry about it, even though industrious is crazy. Kimmy the Doctor, you're a sanguine cannibal who's photosensitive. Once again, what's with the photosensitive cannibals in this con? These Arabs are, like, not being de depicted accurately. Incapable of hauling and mining, eh, not so much. I think we'll let you pass. Again, these guys are going to be really hard to recruit. Let's shut everything off. Let's not worry about any of that. Also, let's make sure all of our colonists here get treated for the flu. Which we're working on right now, I believe. Maybe. Is someone working on this? A lot of people should be. Yep, Drigri's taking care of Peter Ratchet. Uh, we still have Wilhelm to tend to, though. Wallaby was getting tended to as well down here. Wow, his poor right eye got cut out. He'll fit in here for sure. 89%, not bad. Let's go for it. 
I want a too smart jogger who loves to mine and construct and shoot. You kidding me? That's like the best of everything in the world. Best of everything in the world. It looks like Osnog doesn't have any armor here. And it may even look like Ulma's armor has fallen off at this point. Yeah, some of these things are getting deteriorated and not being replaced because I guess we just haven't had the time to make them. That or that's basically the only problem, right? Because they were they should be set up in the nope. Actually, according to this, we have a whole bunch of them in the stockpile. We have wooden boots someplace. They're awful. They're ninety four percent. Alma just hasn't picked them up for whatever reason, or Osnog hasn't rather, and Alma hasn't picked up her plates either. Wherever the heck those are, maybe we're low on those. Yeah, I don't see any plates anywhere. Anywho's, I did say we're leaving, and we are indeed leaving. Let's do it. Probably right now. Do we have the food to get out of here? Yes, we do. Bam! We're doing it. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Form a caravan. Now, who do we want to bring? I feel like Nisa has to go. She's the leader. She's going to lead everyone to victory. Tremaine has to stay. He really holds, like, the whole colony down. Uh, we need all kinds of good fighters, though. So that's probably going to be anyone with eyes. So maybe Peter Ratchet. Uh, Wilhelm. We'll leave Felipe. He's the cleaner. Well, I think we'll bring Drigri, even though he's the miner. I think he can uh, brawl or some such. Dot's going to stay because she's with Felipe. Uh, we'll bring Elias. I think we'll... Osnod doesn't have any armor, so we'll leave her alone for now. Server Cat, you could probably come along. And hey, we'll bring Biggles too. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. Is that enough? Dot, Felipe, wu Ten, Constant. We could bring Constantine too. I mean, he can shoot. He's just old. Constantine, you can come along for the ride. You can come along for the ride. I feel like I shouldn't bring him for some reason, but I'm not sure why. What are we leaving? No, no, no. Let's leave Constantine because I'm leaving behind Ulma with no eyes, wu Ten with no eyes to defend the colony. I thought I... Oh, yeah. Felipe with one eye. Dot. And Osnog with no armor. So if, if the colony gets raided, we're going to be screwed. If I bring Nisa, though, we're not going to have any wardens, which is an interesting concept, but I think we'll be fine. Uh, now... Let's bring all the alpacas, every single one, so that they can haul stuff for us there and back. So we'll bring, yep, all of you. Even though you're little baby guys, we'll bring you too. Fantastic. For items, the only thing I care about is the food. Let's bring all the jerked meats, all the simple meals. This is 1.4 days worth of food. Let's bring all the week's stew, 1.8 days. It's going to take us about three, six, I think three days to get there and back. So we'll have to find 1.2 days worth of food when we get there, I suppose. Because we really don't have any other option. And then also, we can hit up those trade, that town on the way. We can sell them our graphic novel as illustrated, our shoddy graphic fucking novel. It's like, hey, medieval towns, what will you give us for this? Oh, uh, that's hilarious. All right, then we also don't need much of this stuff. I feel like alpaca wool is the only thing we're really going to use in the future. So let's just sell, like, I mean, we can get more too. I mean, we have 800 and it's in really good condition. Why don't we bring, like, 725 and then for these leathers i'm just going to sell i'm going to bring all the small quantity leathers we'll, we'll keep the dromedaries because we have tons of that uh we'll keep the mufalos maybe i don't even need that we could probably just sell the dromedaries keep just the mufalos rest of it we'll um we'll bring this along as well it's gonna take us a little while to gather it all up but you know what i think we'll be okay Warg fur. Wow, we got a lot of that. Didn't realize. We got a lot of stuff. We also want to bring all of our herbal meds because we're probably going to have some battles. And that's looking good. I think we have this awful Mufalo rug we don't really want. We'll bring that and sell it. I think we do want to bring the... These ballistas are one kilogram? Okay, that needs to be changed. That is insanely light. A ballista should not weigh... I mean, like, catapults or whatever in the, in the main game weigh like 100 kilograms or something. Or what are they called? Mortars? One kilogram for a ballista just makes it like unfairly light. We'll bring that along. Hopefully I remember to set it up and otherwise I think we're good. Oh wow, we got a lot of weapons we could bring as well to sell to these doofers. We got all this kind of garbage too. Why don't we bring all this? It's all garbage. Bring all the garbage. Sure. Go, 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 go. All these mufalo wool capes at like 50-40%. Bring it, bring it, bring it. How much space do we have left? We got another 140. You know what I might do? Actually, is bring... Uh. Oh, look at this pick just garbage. No one ever comes to buy this stuff. And it's not really worth very much. Whatever. We'll bring it. We'll sell it. It'll be great. 
And we won't bring any money because we're bringing all this stuff basically to trade. And of course, I need to just go through the weapons now. Wow, we have a Plasteel Longsword, 98%. Okay. Whatever all these cheap weapons are, we'll bring all... This is going to take forever to load the caravan. I wonder if I should just, like, console past this. Are they going to go on 50,000 mental breaks trying to load up the caravan? I bet they will. To be honest, this is, like, out of control ridiculous. But if I have to do it, then we're going to do it. Let's config ourselves to exit out of the south and accept. Uh, yeah, I know we only have 1.8 days worth of food. Let's go. All right, I'll give them an opportunity to pack up their caravan by themselves. Maybe they'll actually manage to pull it off. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. But if we start getting into mental break hell, I'll just, I'll just console it. It's just so ridiculous. So ridiculous. Come on, guys. Pack it up. Hold on. Is there actually a thing here for hauling? Unload carriers. Load transporters. Is this what I think it is? Load caravan. Can I shift load caravan on a one? Like, like the whole freaking colony load caravan. I wonder if that's gonna work. Will that will that mean all the? Okay, can we get Alma, Dot, and Constantine to all wake up and get on off of alert? Yeah, and have them help load up the caravan. Tremaine, you too. Actually, I woke him up and he went immediately back to sleep for whatever reason. Yeah, this is actually working. Okay, so the whole colony here is helping us load up the caravan. Which is interesting. God, look at all of that space. I hope these guys buy all this garbage. That was an insane amount of stuff we had to load up. And also, there's a ton of stuff over here, too. Holy, look at this caravan packing. Please, Ellis, don't go on a mental break. <laughs> Please. Come on, guys, you can do it. Pack up the caravan. Let's get out of here. Please. Takes a whole day to pack this caravan, apparently. Are we done? Okay, now I'm at the point where I'm not sure what's going on. Nisa is apparently packing this thing. Forming caravan wandering. Disease infection on Wallaby. All right, well, hopefully someone takes care of that. Alma is hauling Isaac, warrior dead, to stockpile. What's going on with the caravan, though? Wilhelm's form... Is, is everyone just... What the hell's going on? Uh, so we're sleeping on the streets, apparently. Oh, come on, game. Can I just force everyone to get on alert? Get them off of alert? Maybe they'll go eat and finish up the caravan and we can get out of here? Yes! That did work for whatever reason. Whew, okay, didn't even need to console it. Fantastic. Come on, guys, get off the map before it's too late. Get out of there with our 1.8 food. 1.8 food. Alice has stopped compulsively tidying her surroundings. That's good. And what are we waiting on here? Wilhelm, Peter Ratchet, anyone else? Nope, I think maybe... Nope, we're not waiting on anyone else. Come on, Peter Ratchet, get off the map. Get off the map, Peter Ratchet. What are we waiting on now? This little doofer guy, look at this little guy. We're waiting on Alpaca One, the baby female. Probably should have left the babies behind, but whatever. And we're off, believe it or not. The Vikings are on a raid. Let's go attack. We got 1.3 days to over there. We got 1.8 days of food. Now, speaking of food, Back in our colony, we've got zero of food. Zero. So this is kind of a thing, right? Can I turn this to only colonists that are here? No, I cannot. There doesn't seem to be a toggle to hide people that are out on the map, which is a little bit confusing when I have Moody open. I haven't had this kind of split colony before, but yeah, let's get Dot maybe down here cooking a little bit. Kind of prioritize that so we have food ready in the morning. Let's take a look here. We have lots of things being hunted. Who's still on hunting who's in here? We have Constantine, and that's actually it. We're going to have to put Tremaine, I think, on hunting. Let's make growing a little bit lower. And that hunting's probably going to need to be on a three. Same deal. Osnog three. Hunt. Constantine three. This way it gets done before plant cutting and such for, like, trees. Nice. We got a couple weak stews for when people wake up. One, two, three. It'd be a fourth one here in just a second. Great. Constantine's going around cleaning. Awesome. Ellis has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Okay, well, that's fine. 
Sounds like we're getting our traps reset out here. This actually all is looking pretty good as well. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go to the world map. Hold the phone. We actually want to come down here and visit these guys to trade with them first. Yes, then we can buy some more food when we get there. Oh, yeah, okay. These were the traps we're resetting. Lots of walls out there that need to be fixed up. Wow. Well. There's a bunch of meat. We're making a bunch of stews. That's all that matters is that we don't starve. As long as we can have this colony survive. If we get raided, what the heck are we going to do? Ellis has a bow. Felipe has a bow. Can Felipe use a... He can. Interesting. He doesn't have a offhand. I guess we can give him this superior quarter staff as a sidearm. Go for it, Felipe. Tremaine, you're pretty well set there. Wu-Ten, you're good. All kinds of weapons. Constantine, you're good as well. Dot, you're looking fine, mostly on the melee. Alma, also, you got a stabby stabby. If I needed to have you shoot, could I actually make you do that? No. But I can equip this, but you'll be unhappy. What about as a sidearm? I think it'll equip just fine as a sidearm, right, Alma? You won't be mad just, just having it on you? Hunter lacks ranged weapon Tremaine, right, because he's a brawler. So I can't really even have him do the hunting. That's fine. So let's go back to Tremaine where he was. Let's take his hunting completely off. Get rid of that issue. Starvation on Ellis. Well, that's her own fault. Ellis, just get up and eat. Like, I know you collapse from exhaustion, but this food right here. This food right there. Okay, where's my uh, convoy here? They're moving along. How long till they're in position? 0.3 days. Days of food, one. Silhouette has miscarried due to starvation. Um, hold the phone, guys. That doesn't make any sense. I got, oh, they, the dogs can't eat hay. They can only eat, like, meals and we ran out of meals or whatever, so they had nothing they could eat. Let's quickly expand the allowed area for working dogs. Yeah, they can go basically wherever they want to go and eat whatever they want to eat, so they're probably fine. Let's also allow them out here, even though it's a little bit dangerous, because apparently I allowed them out here for the same reason, like, the oh, you guys are hitting, oh, you're hitting traps. Poor Oyster the Reclusive. He just got murdered. Wait a minute, how does he have all these cuts and stabs? What, did he hit the trap and die? What happened? Did they get into a fight and kill him, it looks like? I think they did. I think he, he had severe anxiety, went crazy, started a fight, and they killed him, and they stepped on a couple traps over here, like Toxo, maybe, nope. Not Toxo, Ostrich? Nope. Steel Pike Knife, Steel... I don't know what the heck, where, who hit the... I heard a trap go off, but... Honestly, I don't know who hit it or where. Alright, well, did, did I get a penalty for that? Because they killed their own guy here? Poor Wu-Ten has to go clean up this mess. Uh, we did get a good peel out of it, though, I suppose. That's something, right? Ooh, Osnog's bringing up the deer. We did get most of that corn uh, sown, but not enough of it. We also have all this stuff to sow up here as well. Let's hit up the world map. How are we doing on our journey? Yeah, we're a few hours away. Probably sometime this afternoon we'll hit that place. Well... At least we're getting the... Oh, look at that. Felipe's coming in here, butchering it up, dropping the meat down. Dot's grabbing it, cooking it up. Felipe's high-fiving her. God, they're so happy together. The cleaning-cooking duo. I wonder, actually, if that's true. Nope, 53, 53. They've gone down five since they first uh, got together, and nothing's really changed since then. We're very close to hitting our town here to sell all that garbage, which is awesome. Nice, Felipe is keeping this town clean. This is starting to look like a legitimate village. That was also like a really satisfying thing in the, in the Vikings TV show. Like, in the very beginning, they just live in these little, like, hamlets. And then, they by season four, they show, like, these giant cities. Well, I guess they're not giant. But they're pretty freaking huge compared to how they were in city or um, season one. Because they had grown over time and people had moved in and like stuff had developed non-stop. It's pretty cool. Anyway, world map. Are we in we in position here? Almost. Let's click here and bam, we're in. Let's trade. Hey friends, the village of Shanroom of Kingdom of Genahem. You have millions of Yorkshire Terriers. Sorry, guys. That sucks for you. Arctic foxes. That's kind of cool. Um, that's it though. You don't really have any other aminals to speak of. You do have simple meals. Quite frankly, $23 a piece is a bit steep, but I'm probably going to have to buy them, to be honest. I don't have much other choice. 
And I'm also feeling like I need to sell them everything I own. They have 9,000... Is this a bug? How the heck did they get $9,900? What? Okay. That's crazy. We'll sell them all this stuff we don't need. Great. Really helped clear up our inventory for the first time in years. Do we want to buy medicine? We actually could buy it very cheap from them. $23. I've been buying it like $50 a piece, so probably. I'll think about it in a second. They will buy all of our garbage weapons for who knows what reason. But hey, don't look a gift horse in the proverbial mouth, as they say. They have 14 primitive spears, interestingly enough. They've got a boar spear, a steel saber. <gasps> I used to saber. That was my thing. Let's take a look at it here. It's actually terrible. Melee hit chance 3. 1.85 seconds, 9 damage. That's not how it's say. I guess, I don't know, that's probably accurate to some, to some extent. Sell, 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 sell. Sell, sell. They got some great bows. We don't care about that. They want to buy all of our... Why the hell would this town want our freaking worn-out camel tribal wear that's been worn and, like, sweated in for, like, four years by Viking? <laughs> Makes no sense. This is cool. Look at all these things we can get in the future. Royal plated armor and cape. God, that just sounds cool. Sounds and looks... They got some conical bassinet. Sounds like a comical bassinet. That's actually what this one looks like. Combat helmet. What is this? High-tech urban worlds for soldiers mass-produced by the millions? Um, this seems like a future helmet, but for whatever reason, they have two of them and they're crazy. I'm not sure what mod's adding those, but it seems a bit out of place. Uh, let's sell the rest of this garbage. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. And wonderful. Now, what do we want to buy from them? I would love their gold, actually, to make that throne. I think I need 500 to make it. Grand Ice Sculpture. Grand God King's Throne. I think we're making one of those, but it's going to be pathetic uh, when we do. Let's see if we can buy... How much would it cost for 500 gold? Probably more money. Yeah, it's going to cost $6,000. Let's not do that, then. Let's just swing up here. Let's grab all their meals, because we're going to need them. Bam! That's like a thousand dollars on meals, but hey, we'll bring them back for our friends. Let's buy all their medicines because they're actually a pretty good deal. They have 39 of them. Bam! We're still up $4,400. Anything else we really need? Not particularly. I don't think I want to buy any armor. I want to make my own. We're self-sufficient Vikings, not like lame loser Vikings. So I'm just going to go with this and... Ooh, you can make silver decorative urns? Huh. Cool. Let's hit the button. Let's get on the road. We'll attack in 0.5 days. Oh, God. I've only got seven people. Hopefully this works out. And hopefully we don't get raided while the attack is out, because that would be very bad as well. Animal starvation on all my Labrador retrievers. We have food up here they can go eat. Can they not eat stews? Um... They could come up and eat the simple meals. I don't get it. They should be able to eat whatever they want. Uh, animals. Oh, stupid quarantine po policy. There we go. I fixed it. Oh, apparently there's a baby alpaca someplace here. I didn't even notice that. I must have got born while I was forming the whatever. So I guess one of my Labrador retrievers miscarried. Possibly two of them because I had them set to the quarantine for who knows how long. That sucks. All right, well, they're all fed up now, so the next litter, hopefully the next litter will survive. And, yeah, we still have eight meals for everybody else. Great. Severe illness on Wallaby. Wallaby, we need to be able to keep you alive here. You got a right arm extreme infection, 8580. If we get a good treatment on you, you will. Oh, hold on, mad animal. Tremaine, let's go off of that and come over here and prioritize tending to Wallaby with a good medicine. Let's keep him alive. I want this guy. Great. Uh, let's go back to him now and shut off that and come over to this. How good did we do this? 88, 83. We'll see if that works. Where's this mad animal? The local Ibex. And it's actually already being hunted. So can we maybe get Ellis, once she's done consuming her simple meal, to come down here on alert and put that deer out of its misery? Uh, Maybe. There we go. Yep, it's hitting It's hitting a trap there. Ellis is hitting the deer. Fantastic. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, God. Alma, what are you doing? It's not safe. It's not safe to go alone. Actually, the thing's going to be dead in like five seconds. So, quite frankly... Oh, she's going right after. Oh, Alma, fantastic. Good job, guys. Ellis was very happy about this combo tag teamwork. First time I've seen her happy. All campaign. 
all campaign. How are we doing up here? Uh-oh. Tomorrow morning, first thing, crack of dawn. We're going to cross the river and we're going to invade. Please tell me it's going to go well. I'm so worried. Actually, actually, the episode's over. 45 minutes, unless I want to do a longer episode. This is the perfect, perfect stopping point, though. All right, guys, once we're returning, the actual raid will actually, actually, actually. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. All right, hell or high water, we're out of here in the morning. Mm. High water indeed, it's a raid! <laughs> Group of Arabs have arrived, they're attacking immediately.